Okinalani, I'm going to be posting this on YouTube. Here's the backyard. There's, it extends a great deal back there. It's one of the most beautifully landscaped backyards. It's pristine and absolutely fabulously maintained. There are issues with neighbors very close by. However, that can probably be addressed with uh, landscaping. Several of the trees that are planted there are going to be blocking the views within the next two or three years. And uh, more landscaping can be put in there to address that with things like bamboo. So it's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, the landscaping goes way back. In that area over there, there can be, uh, there's plenty of room to put bamboo that'll completely hide um, the, the two remaining privacy issues. So um, there is a garden shed right here that's quite big. There is a breezeway here. You see that yellow sign there? There's an electric fence to keep um, pigs out. It goes all the way along around the entire property line. And actually cars can come up from the driveway and drive up here on the grass. They did it regularly in order to deliver uh, groceries to the level of the, of the, of the um, kitchen. So anyhow, um, here's the kitchen, core wood cabinets. I'm going to do this quickly because we do need to head out. But the sink is away from the, um, from the uh, window. There's an opening here that leads to access. There's one guest bedroom. And a second guest bedroom. The only issues with the guest bedrooms are shared bathroom that Asha says can be split into a separate private small bed uh, bathrooms for each room, but that would be an expense that we would probably not want to do for a while because the property is valued at the top of um, uh, top of our price range. This, these are the stairs going down. We'll go there in a second. This is an office area that could also be a bedroom because there's a closet. This is the living room area with a huge lanai, which I will go to in a second. storage space, laundry room with huge storage space and an extra fridge and a sink, additional access to the outside, master bedroom. The views, there aren't any views from the master bedroom. There's a little bit of a privacy issue. Um, the, you know, Window treatments aren't particularly inspiring, but that's not expensive to address. The bathroom is rather mundane. Corian. And the floor treatments are just, you know, pergo. The closet space is enormous, well, very large anyway, quite substantial. The flooring is all tile and in good condition, Asha has vouched for that. A lot of storage space throughout. Powder room.
and we're going to go to the lanai. It's a very large lanai and very nice views. It's nothing damaged. You know, and uh, Al was on the board for about six years. He was the president. And then he was on the board for a few years. So he knows what he's doing. Express that it's a really good association, really kind of get along. Mm -hmm. Everybody tries to make it better. Airport. So. You'll see in a moment. There's the airport. There's the airport. There are the boats out there. No privacy concerns for the people downhill from us. And Mamalahoa Highway is just one or so blocks away. Uh, Here's the lanai. It's really quite large. This access is to one of the spare bedrooms. So there's a total of two additional spare bedrooms if you don't include the office. And the office does not have an access door to the lanai. So now we're going to go downstairs which is internal, which is one of the things we like. We don't have none of this outside to the lower floor thing. There's a left door that goes into the garage, which I will go to later. First, we're going to go down into what's potentially Gary's studio. It's enormous. It's really huge, huge, huge. Access to the drive, driveway. It's enormous. Lots of light. Its own bathroom. Shower, bath, toilet, and, and sink. And down here, what Gary touts is a potential bedroom for Elliot. The only issue I have is that it's not ventilated, but I suppose Asha could make it ventilated. It's totally quiet and soundproof, which for me is a big plus. And also for Gary. And now here's the garage. I'm going to stand at the corner so you could get a complete view. It's an enormous garage. It's at least a two-car, maybe even a three-car garage if you parked very carefully. But really, a two-car garage. Lots of room. And that's... Uh, I'll go outside to the front so you can get a better view. The landscaping in the front is really, it's just beautifully maintained. The, the property currently has a very decent gardener who is the uh, overall um, a residential complex, you know, the whole H HOA complex gardener. And I mean, look at this. It's really stunning, really, really well done. And although it's at the top of our range, and although there are a couple of uh, updatings that really should be done, it's not something that in a couple of years or three years we couldn't do. And, uh, you know, for this price, for what we're getting, it hits everything. The only issue for us would be privacy and whether we're willing to give up the things that we are getting in volcanoes. So we'd have to talk about it.